Welcome back to Up the Trail. Today, we are gonna tour our friend's Airstream they just got. It's gonna be a DIY project and we'll show you the before and the after and the journey. Let's get into it. So okay. what's hauling your Airstream today? Well, what's hauling <laughs> the Airstream is a 2020 Toyota Tundra 4x4 fully equipped for hauling. And when I pulled it over from the storage a couple miles from here, couldn't even feel it. It was like a feather. It's got the power. It's got the power. And the doors, I think these doors are so crazy. They open up perpendicular to this. This is nice. And it's that's roomy. a and this is a bench seat too. So this this pops up. So the console fits up. So it's a six seat. Yeah, six passenger. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Cool. Gotta have a good rig yeah. to pull the airstream. That's right. I love the Tacomas, but the Tundra is just a necessity with this room and the cab. Yes. Ours is pretty decently spaced out too, but it's not a Tacoma, it's the Forerunner. So right. But the Tundra. Yeah. <laughs> it is beautiful. So you're on the you guys are on the chassis of the Forerunner. Your Yes. Yours is a yours is a Forerunner? Yes. Oh, I thought yours was uh, was a bigger. That thing is huge. It's pretty good size, just for what we need. Oh. Come in, come in. I thought my wife is the one who should really be doing the show and tell here. Well, tell us more about the trailer. How long is it? It's 28 feet. It's uh, it's a 28 feet uh, 1998 model uh, Excel. I spoke with a colleague and asked him if he he lives in the area and asked him if he knew a place that I could store an Airstream. And he said, oh, are you planning to buy an Airstream? And I said, yes. And then he he said, I have one for sale. So Just kind of perfectly And, and so we looked at it, and this is a 98 instead of an 82. And this is in pristine condition compared to the other one that wasn't, and they were asking the same amount. So I said, I'll take it. Easy sell. Easy sell. So that was the deal. And and these people put a bunch of new stuff in, a new microwave, a new refrigerator. They had gone through, I was going through the receipts that I had. And between 19, seven, between 2017 and 2020, I think they spent like $5,000 on the trailer. Because the bed does fold out, it covers up the, the um, equipment that's there. We're going to have to maybe redo the cushions, take this off, uh, maybe put a table here that comes out. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking like that it would maybe fold down. Other idea I had was putting a couch over here. And then having the pull out table or something? Yeah, like a table or even like a desk across here. Maybe with some drawers on both sides. I've seen that. You could do like a two. Anyway. The bathroom is the center section of between the bedroom and the kitchen. So we can close this off on both sides. And we have the shower. All these are these all of the hardware is coming off the at least the poles. And these are all gonna be uh, painted white. The entire inside of this is gonna be white. Take a look at the bedroom suite. This is actually the master suite. Yeah. It came with these lovely curved custom mattresses, it seems. Just enough for a single person to lay out on. <laughs> Not two people? You can squeeze two in there. Maybe. <laughs> if you're really jam packing and snuggling, you could snuggle time. Snuggle time. So check back with us later and we'll see the transformation that's about to take place. Remember to like, share, and subscribe and check out our next video. Up the trail.